Hey everyone, I'm Nick from Coffee Before Arch, and in this episode of C++ Crash Course, we're going to be talking about uh, ordered maps this time, uh, as they're implemented in the C++ uh, standard. All right, so last time we looked at unordered maps, which are uh, implemented with a hash table, and one of the things that we saw was that when we you know dumped the contents of that unordered map, we didn't have a guarantee of you know, as it implies, any kind of order of the different elements be they, you know, say an integer as the key or a string as the key. Uh, in this in this case, right, so in ordered maps, um, and in order to use these, we just include a map, right, so up here, include map, and we'll go ahead and create a very simple one. Uh, we'll call it ordered map, and then we'll have a key that's an integer, and very simply, we'll have a value that's also an integer. Now, we can insert into our ordered map in a similar fashion that we did the unordered map, with this you know, array-like uh, indexing. So here what we're saying is I'm going to create uh, something or overwrite something uh, with a key of nine, that's an integer, and then I'll store a value of nine times nine, or 81. Likewise, we'll do this with four and one. And like we saw uh, with the unordered map, we didn't have a guarantee that the first element in this map was going to be a nine or the first element was going to be a four, or the first element was going to be a one. It could really be put wherever, depending on where the hashing function ends up putting that value. But in this case, with an ordered map, there's a series of comparisons that goes on that will put this in some order. Now, in this case, uh, with these integers, it'll put them in ascending order. So one will be first, um, key four will be second, key nine will be last, right? So it does this, um, this, this sorting is based upon the key, not the value. Right, and so we'll go ahead and dump these key value pairs, and what we'll see is the order of key 1, followed by key 4, followed by key 9. But this doesn't just have to be, again, with integers. Uh, if we start comparing strings now, so we'll do a map called animals, and we'll use a string as the key and integer as the value, and we'll go ahead and use the method similar as we did in the unordered map example with make pair. Now in this case, we'll go ahead and insert, you know, again, we'll insert zebra first, then we'll insert baboon second and aardvark third, and uh, this will actually be sorted uh, lexicographically, meaning you know basically alphabetically. So what we'll see when we dump this down here at the very bottom, where we do the same kind of you know animals dot begin um, iterator is not equal to animals dot end, and as a reminder, uh, animals dot end is an iterator that points to one past the last element in the map, so that's an invalid value, right? And then we go ahead and increment the iterator. Right, so what we'll see is we'll get this in alphabetical order. So we should see um, aardvark first, baboon second, and zebra third, even though we inserted them uh, in the reverse order. Right, and this is because, again, so ordered maps have some kind of order, and they do this compare operation when something gets inserted. Right, so let's see how this looks when we run the program. So let's go ahead and do G++, dash O, map, and then map.cpp, and we'll go ahead and use the C11 standard. So dash standard equals C11. Right, and then we can go ahead and run map. And so what we see is that even though we inserted element 9 first, you know, we're guaranteed to get this in uh, this order, right? So in ascending order, so 1, 4, 9. Likewise, even though we inserted zebra, then baboon, then aardvark, we get the correct alphabetical order, right? So we use map if we want to have some order of these elements, and we use an unordered map if we really don't care about the order, uh, you know, of these elements. So, like last time, you know, when we talked about an unordered map storing constants, we really don't care where the constant's being stored, right? We just care that we've got some kind of fast lookup via something like a hash table. Now, in this case, we actually do care about, say, the order. Uh, we would use something like a map. But that's going to do it for this example. Feel free to check out all this code at github.com slash coffee before arch. Right, so you can find this under C++ Crash Course. We have also have GPU programming with CUDA here, as well as things like parallel programming in C++. But again, we looked at C++ Crash Course inside of the standard library. We looked at unordered maps last time, and we looked at ordered maps this time. So feel free to download this, play around with it, and let me know if you have any questions. And as always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.